Peace and love everyone. Welcome back. My name is Sheldon and I help people ascend their consciousness and discover the path to enlightenment. Now, I hope you are all having a beautiful, magical, wonderful day. I'm sending everyone a lot of love, a lot of peace, a lot of healing energy once again. You know, the birds are chirping, the sun is out, the skies are very, very blue. Um, I'm extremely grateful for my life. I'm extremely grateful for each and every one of you. Anyone following my journey, I'm sending you know, a lot of love and I just want to help as much people as possible. So I'm extremely grateful for you know, all the love and support that I've been feeling, guys. And um, I want to talk about the Great Awakening and I want to, I want to kind of make a series here and, and continue talking about the Great Awakening and, 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 and help people that are going through their awakening and just speak about some wisdom that you know you might be looking for that might be coming to you that I can clarify so today I want to talk about the nature of duality and essentially duality is the balance of life where everything has an opposite side right so the second hermetic principle is called the, the principle of correspondence so as above so below as within so without. So the seven hermetic principles essentially govern the universe. They're the seven laws of the universe. And the second one is the principle of correspondence. Like I said, as above, so below. As within, so without. So, you know, the trees behind me, as tall as they stand, the roots would go down just as far. Right? So everything in life is balanced. You have to have hate in order to know love. You have to have, you know, war or disorder in order to know peace, right? You have to have night in order to know day. You have to have dark in order to know light, the sun and the moon, you know? Yin and yang, feminine, masculine. Everything in life is balanced, right? So a lot of people get caught up with things that are happening to them and unfortunate situations that, that you know, are in their path. And they're in their path for a reason. Now, when you are aware of the nature of duality and the principle of correspondence, you understand that you need to go through the tough times, the rough patches, the, the roadblocks in order to get to your destination, in order to become the best version of yourself possible. Now, the beauty of this is we have the authentic choice to choose our polarity. So we can choose a path of self, the service to self path, which is, you know, hate and selfishness and just, you know, um, <clears throat> doing things to serve yourself, going around other people, all that stuff. Or we can choose the service to others path, right? I'm not saying any choice is better than the other. One might be more full of love and peace. The other might be full of greed and anger, right? That's not to say that any one is better than the other because once again, everything is made dual, right? Without this, there would be no this, right? So we have to understand that, you know, for every action, there is a reaction, right? This is what, it, it really stems back into, you know, what you do on a daily basis because what you do just comes right back to you. Everything is dual. Everything comes back to you. Everything in life is balance everything is on a scale the Egyptians knew this they always um, depicted in their iconography that when you die or you transform should I say because there's no such thing as death death is an illusion there's only a transformation of energy um, they would put your heart on a scale and on the other side there would be a feather right and this would determine your next lifetimes or what you do next and I, I, I find it an extreme coincidence how people are put here, if that's the best way to put it. Um, just some people have very unfortunate circumstances, if you will. <clears throat> some people were born with handicaps, blind, deaf, you know, all sorts of things that are unfortunate to you know, the average person, if you will. And I truly believe and know that this comes from karma. So the karma keeps recycling and keeps recycling, like every action has a reaction. So pretty positive that in past lifetimes, you know, they were doing something 
negative or not serving, right? So I feel like the people that are blessed in these lives aren't lucky. They, they got there for a specific reason. They got there because they were a humanitarian. They were helping other people and all that stuff, right? So you, you always got to keep in mind, you know, when you're doing something, think about what that reaction is going to be. You know, if you're doing something negative, if you're stealing, if you're lying, if you're cheating, if you're um, constantly being selfish and only thinking about yourself, think about what that reaction is going to be. Think about what that's going to do, right? So when we have a duality mindset, when we understand that everything is balanced and that you know you have to go through bad things in order to get to good things, then we can start to live our lives more peacefully. And when we understand that everything has a reaction from our actions, we can start to choose positive actions on a daily basis. We can start to choose to do things that are gonna better our lives in the long run because we know that the energy we're putting out is the energy that we are attracting. Like attracts like, right? So we have the authentic choice to choose our polarity. And <clears throat> this is essentially why we're here. You know, the downloads that I've received, the wisdom that I've received, the research that I've done, and what I understand in the soul is that we all came here to evolve. We all came to this dense plane to evolve, to learn all the lessons in life and to eventually evolve. And we can't evolve if we're constantly recycling our karma. And the only way we recycle our karma is if we do bad things to other people and we are selfish, right? So we need to stop being so selfish and we need to start embracing selflessness. Right? We need to start helping other people as much as we possibly can. <clears throat> Excuse me. And spreading love and spreading good energy because once we do this, then we're going to start to release our karmatic cycle. We're going to start to step into our th authentic self and we're going to start to become who we truly are meant to be. And this is what's happening in my life. I'm, I'm starting to realize that, you know, I'm starting to become who I truly am. You know, I'm stepping into my true nature and I'm, I'm doing things that serve other people, in turn serving myself, right? So I always say when you, when you send hate, you're just sending hate at yourself. When you send love, you're just sending love at yourself. So just remember every action has a reaction that, and that everything in life is dual, right? As above, so below, as within, so without. Just remember that, you know, you cannot experience love if you haven't experienced hate fear and anger and all that stuff. You cannot experience love. You cannot experience it. You wouldn't even know what love feels like, right? Without disorder, you wouldn't know peace, right? So I think that everything that we're going through in, in life right now and everything that's going on, everything's kind of tumbling because of this great awakening, because of this shift in consciousness. Everything is tumbling down before it rises up. So embrace it, right? Don't fear it. Don't fight it, don't resist it, but embrace it because if you if you go into it with the understanding that all this is happening for a very specific reason and all this is happening for the greater good because love always wins at the end of the day, love is always the most powerful emotion, then you're going to start to live a more peaceful life. You're going to stop to you're going to stop living life in anger and fear and worry and resentment and resistance. And you're going to start to understand that everything is happening for you, right? Everything is happening for you. And the universe is just trying to teach you lessons, teach you lessons, teach you lessons. And you guys might be recycling the same experiences over and over again and not understand why. But you have to understand that you're being taught a lesson or they're trying to teach you a lesson. And you're just not getting it. So they're going to keep putting you through it and putting you through it and putting you through it it or whatever you want to call it. I say they because I talk about the angels and the ascended masters and I think they have a big role in all this but you know you just have to look at everything that happens in your life and and, and, and take it as a grain of salt and say you know what is this trying to teach me and once you get to that point then you know life becomes a journey and you start to learn your lessons and once you start to learn your lessons you start to level up like there's levels to this shit Right? Life is a game. It's a game, guys. So don't take it too seriously. You don't have to take it too seriously. You don't have to, you know, need that job. Blah, 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 blah. 
resistance. I see a lot of resistance out there. Like, let that shit go. Let it go. Put your intentions out there and let it go because it doesn't serve you anymore. It doesn't serve you by attaching to an ideal outcome. It just causes resistance. We're getting a little bit off topic here, but you know, sometimes I like rambling on. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> um, you know, I just want to share my wisdom with you guys. I just want to share my knowledge and wisdom and, and, and hope that I can be a light in someone's life today. You know, when I when, when these things happen, when I see people wake up because of what I'm speaking, it, uh, it means the world to me. So that's why I'm doing it. I mean, I also get a lot of hate. Like I said, everything is balanced, right? So it, for as much love as I get, I probably get just as much hate. And that's okay, because I understand that that's just how it works, right? I choose to focus on the love. That's why I become a very happy person. That's why I step into my true nature, because I choose to focus my energy on the love, and that's what grows the most, right? That's what I, I see the most, even though I know there's just as much hate. I might not see it, but I know it's there. You know, I can feel it. But I, I choose to focus on the love that I'm receiving and the love that I'm putting out. Because where attention grows, or where attention goes, sorry, energy flows. So focus your attention on what you want. So just remember this, guys. When there are roadblocks in your way, remember that the roadblocks are the path themselves, right? The roadblocks are the path. You need to go through certain things in order to level up, in order to become the best version of yourself possible. That's the whole point of this whole game, right? So if you're going through your awakening right now and you're looking for answers, understand that you came here to evolve and understand that you have to go through hate, you have to go through fear, you have to go through anger, all that in order to get to love. I went through all of these things in my life and now I'm starting to put all the pieces together and understand Wow, I had to go through all this stuff when I was younger. I had to go through all this stuff in my early journey in order to get to the person I am today. You need to go through these things in order to learn. You need to go through these things. No one gets it easy. No one gets it easy. If you think people, you know, have it, have the life and all that stuff, and you see all these people that are doing everything they ever wanted to do on Instagram and all that stuff, understand that they are going through shit. Trust me, they're all every single one of them is going through something because that's just how the universe works you are here to evolve and to grow so remember the principle of correspondence remember that you know you are here to evolve your soul remember that when you go through something it's trying to teach you a lesson and and find that lesson because once you find the lesson and you learn from it then you can level up and move on and you're gonna stop recycling those experiences so I wish everyone a great awakening I wish everyone you know going through this um, the easiest possible awakening it, it, there is, but you know, it's tough. It is tough. It's not easy to go through these things. So I hope that, you know, I'm going to come out and speak about a lot of topics that you guys are going to go through during this awakening. And I hope that it can help you guys and help ease you into some of these things. And, you know, with the hopes that, you know, you just become who you're meant to be. And that's the whole point. So. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. If you did, press that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you haven't already. But for now, uh, we'll part ways. So peace, love, and have a glorious day. I can smell it in the air, guys. I can smell that awakening. I can smell that that love, that new earth, that fresh scent, uh, that energy, that manifestation. We're all gonna get it. Everyone's gonna get it. Just be patient. Your time is coming. Your time is now. Peace and love.